Hello guys! Once again, this will be my last video for the day. Um, and what we're going to go over today is buildings. So uh, we've kind of already designated this uh, these downstairs. What we're going to do now is we're going to press D again. And we're going to designate a mine, which is also D. If you're underground, it will actually automatically go to, 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 to the mine command. So you don't actually have to press D twice if you're already underground. But you can if you really want to, but you don't have to. Uh, you can go back up to the surface, and uh, if you press D up here, it will automatically go into the chop down trees command, um, or designation. So we're just going to go down here. Um, actually, no. I'm going to press X, which will remove a designation. Um, and we'll just get rid of this. What we need to do is we need to start building farms. So um, over here, um, if we press K, you see that this is a loamy sand wall. Uh, you can only build farms on loamy sand or different soils or clays. Um, so we're going to go ahead and mine. We're going to designate a big hallway right here. Um, we don't really know whether or not this is sandy loam, but you can assume uh, that next to water sources you will see more sandy loam. So actually, we might want to go probably in between these three pools is all sandy loam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. Um, and then let's just make a room for a farm plot. Yeah, that looks like a good, good sized farm plot. Um, and then maybe I'll make another one right here. size, I could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, I made up a number. 1, 2, <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright. Perfect. So I'm going to unpause this, and the minor dwarves are going to go ahead and start uh, chopping away at this uh, sandy loam. Now, soils are very easy for them to go through, and they usually go through them pretty quickly. Um, but everything in this game has a weight, you know. If your dwarves are carrying logs or they're carrying stone, it's going to take them a lot longer, uh, depending on the weight of the object they are carrying. And likewise, for mining, depending on the hardness of the material they're mining out, it will change how fast they mine it out. So now they're uh, starting to make this room. These little yellow commas, if we press K, we can easily look at this. So this is a loamy sand cavern floor, makes sense. Um, there's nothing to catch in the central swamps, that's fine. I'm sure there's something to catch in the brook. Um, and we'll just wait for them to uh, get this room finished. And uh, how's our woodcutter doing? Uh, looks like the woodcutter actually cut down all the wood. If we press K, we can look over here. Um, these logs, uh, these are Carambola logs. Um, different logs have different colors. Usually they're brown, um, but there's some weird ones that have different colors. Um, all of wood, nice. So maybe maybe we did want that step ladder so we could pick olives from olive trees. Who knows? Um, but these miners are uh, almost done here, and in this tutorial we're going to be uh, doing building. So I'm going to press um, B for build. Um, after pausing. Although I think if you press B to build, it will pause it anyway. Um, and then P for farm plot. You can see this big long list. You can actually scroll through it with the uh, plus or minus signs and then press enter to select something. Um, eventually you're just going to learn, you know, oh, it's P for farm plot. So uh, I'm going to go down here. This green X is where it will be built. Right now it's just going to be a one tile farm plot. To expand it, we can change the height and the width, much like uh, we changed the location area on the uh, embark screen. So uh, press U to increase the height, and uh, if you have something in the center of it, then it will it'll increase the height on the top and then on the bottom, so it's better to keep your cursor in the center of the room that you want to fill. Um, and then you press K to expand it, H to make it shorter, M to make it, you know, not as long. So we're just going to expand it to fill this room. We're going to press enter. And then we're going to build another one in this other room. 
So I'm going to take this again to the center of the room. You to expand it upwards. You need to expand it to the side. Press enter again. So now we're going to unpause this. So uh, these flashing lines means this is where we are going to be building a farm plot in the future. But of course, farmers have to go and till that land to make it farmable. And there you can see it. It's becoming less flashy. Um, as he tills it and it becomes these kind of uh, wavy lines to kind of show tilled soil. And then when it looks like that, that's how you, when it looks like ramen, you know it's complete. Um, so up here it looks like the hoary marmots are uh, coming to say hello, not too worried. Um, so now these uh, farm plots have been built, so you press Q. And you can actually inspect buildings pressing Q. So it's kind of like K, but it's only for buildings. You know, it'll automatically highlight the nearest building to it, um, and then it goes away after a while. So you go over here. This is selected now. Right now it's spring, and it shows you on the right the different plants you can farm during spring. So what we're going to do is, using the plus and minus signs, we can go through this list. Um, Let's say I want, um, I don't know, I want sweet pods for this uh, farm plot in the spring. Then we can go over here and we can be like, but on this farm plot, I want dimple cups in the spring. So now what they're going to do is they're going to start planting sweet pods in this farm plot and they're going to start planting uh, dimple cups in this farm plot because it's currently spring. You always start in spring. Um, press B for summer, and it shows you a different list because these are the different plants you can grow in the uh, in the summer. So in the summer, I'm gonna cave wheat's new, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plant some cave wheat, and I'm also gonna plant some cave wheat's nice because you can make it into alcohol, of course, but it's not something you can really just eat as soon as you harvest it. So it's always nice to have something that's readily to eat. So I'm going to also have some plump helmets. Press C for autumn. Um, maybe some cave wheat here. And then in the autumn over here, we'll plant some pigtails. Then in the winter, we'll have dimple cups and uh, plump helmets. Then you press escape. And uh, the farming dwarves are coming down with these little seeds, and uh, you can see them starting to plant some stuff. And uh, that will grow over time, and uh, as they grow, like a lot of this is automated, so when this grows, they will automatically go and uh, collect those items. And uh, that's about it for uh, basic building and farming plots. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, again, look in the description, uh, comment if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.